Hello, my friends. I'm the Killmaster Gaming, and today we'll be going over ten simple redstone traps. Okay, by sim I'm I'm kind of lying by simple, but today we'll be going over ten of my favorite redstone traps. So first we have the suffocation trap. Pretty simple. Now, just to be safe, I'm going to set my spawn here, and I'm just going to set it to hard, take off my armor. Alright, next, for trap number two, we call it the unwelcome guest. So what's happening here is, or, oh wait, I forgot to go over the first one. Uh, so what's happening here is beneath this, the pressure plate activates redstone which will go down through the floor uh, into this redstone torch. And then this redstone torch will unpower this piston, which will briefly cause the floor to open up. And you suffocate. I'm going to put that back. And this one, what it does is these observers detect the door's opening. And then it sends a redstone signal beneath to either of these two points and both of them fire a poison arrow. That's the point of that. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, trap number three, we have the pitfall, where your friend's an unwelcome guest, and they fall to their death. Or not. Chloe. So how it works is... This piston, uh, I mean, okay, down down here, you see redstone that goes beneath that pressure plate, and then down here to this point to invert this redstone signal, which will revert, or which will cause this piston to retract, and it briefly makes the door go bye-bye. And that's that. That's how that works. Now for number four, we have an old and classic trap, not even really a trap, but it's great on adventure mode servers, where... This. The only way to get out is to sprint or break a block. So, here's that. Um, for number three... Or I mean, uh, for number... One, two, three, four... Five! Uh, we have the Armor Equipping Station of Death. So, you know the mechanic where if you build something like this, then you put a piece of armor in each dispenser, uh, and then you flick the button, uh, it'll auto-equip the armor? Well, watch this. Four potions of harming. Which apparently don't kill them. I'll have to experiment with that. And over here, for number six? No, this is number six. So that's... Wait, that's... One, two, three, four, five, six. So, it's just gravel with pressure plates. What could happen? A fall into lava. And cobwebs. I forgot about the cobwebs. And so they finally reach this point, and they're thinking, Oh no, there's no escape. But because the gravel is an entity, they can't break the cobwebs in time unless they happen to have a sword on them. Which I'm pretty sure they won't. And of course, they fall into lava, unable to do anything about it. There you go. Pretty vicious. And over here, for number seven, uh, we have the um, masochist chest trap. So you see this? It's just a piece of paper that says got you, but I'm not going to take it out just yet. How it works is you put a comparator behind the block of the trapped chest. Then this comparator, once it's, once it's unpowered, uh, will cause this redstone torch to flicker back on. Then the redstone signal will travel up these slabs and down across here to release these pistons, which will release thousands upon thousands, well not really that many, of minecart with TNT. Turn 
TNT explodes back on. And then they will all go down here, and because of how they work, they will fall down and explode all at once. So now, the demonstration. Just in case, I'm going to save. And there you go. Now, is that vicious or what? <gasps> Please don't tell me any crops. No! Okay, so you got a brief look at um, what the other one was. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, believe it or not. Um, okay, so over here, you see a farm. Just a simple farm. I'm going to show you the mechanics first, because yet again, it's um, destructive. So, you can't really see it that well, but there are a bunch of hoppers beneath this dirt that all lead to a comparator. And then when that comparator gets a signal, it leads into a repeater. Here, let me see this. Oh no. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. now, of course, to show you the trap itself. I'm just going to fix this. Now to show you the trap, number eight. As soon as you start breaking things, it falls through the farmland into the hoppers below, and you hear the TNT, and kaboom. Oh no! Okay, that was violent. And now for number nine. So, this is another door trap. How it works is an observer picks up a redstone signal from the door, and it leads a redstone signal into this dispenser, which will place a wither skeleton skull right here. I tested this, it'll work and this will spawn a wither. It is suggested that you have mob griefing on, I mean off, 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 but on works too, and now we're gonna get wrecked by the wither. This will take a minute. I forgot how long it takes the wither to spawn. There you go. Ooh, red tint. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna close that. He'll kill himself. Now, oh look! A grass patch. I really want to turn this into a grass path. That's... I, I can't. I just can't. There we go. Oh look! Grass. Convenient to have a shovel. How it works is... There's an observer beneath this grass, or beneath this grass, which will activate a giant, and I mean giant, TNT explosion. There you go. Because of how grass paths work. Bam! How did I survive that? Oh, and we broke this trap. Alright, well. Just a little showcase. Well, that was 10, um, 
interesting redstone traps. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, share this video with your friends, maybe other redstone engineers. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to say that again just to make sure. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.